Our seventh lab, the determination of molar mass of an unknown using freezing point depression. So we have an organic unknown that we have to identify using its molar mass. By using a freezing point depression of cyclohexane. So first uh, we prepared a little ice slurry, uh, quarter water, three quarter ice, and a tablespoon of salt. We're gonna let that chill and go measure our five milliliters of cyclohexane. So in the fume hood, <clears throat> we bring our small mixing test tube and we're gonna measure five milliliters of cyclohexane and we're gonna put it out into the test tube. We have a double O stopper with a hole in it. So let's go measure the temperature of the freezing point. So we're gonna use a digital thermometer to measure the temperature of the freezing point. We're gonna put the uh, thermometer through the double O stopper. We're gonna make sure that the thermometer doesn't touch the end, the, the sides of the test tube, and doesn't quite touch the end either, but we want it to be really close. And so now we have to um, put the sample in the ice water. When the temperature gets to about 13 degrees, 12, 13 degrees, we're going to record the temperature um, every five seconds. We're already at 12.5. So after measuring the temperature uh, decrease for a couple minutes, uh, we can graph our results, temperature versus time. And uh, we saw that there was a, uh, a plateauing or flattening of the cooling curve. And if we uh, graph that, um, we see that the freezing point for our sample of cyclohexane was 6.3 degrees Celsius. So now that we have the freezing point, it's time to uh, repeat the experiment, but this time with the unknown. For the second part of the experiment, we're gonna need a very precise amount of cyclohexane and also a very precise amount of the unknown. So first we'll just pour 20 milliliters of cyclohexane um, and then we're gonna measure the mass of that. So about 20 milliliters. And now measuring the mass of the unknown, we're gonna use the analytical scale. So what we need to do is to measure about uh, 0.2 to 0.3 grams of the unknown. So we're gonna zero scale. Anywhere from 0.2 to 0.3 is gonna give us a good temperature change, um, but not too much so that we're wasting the reagents. Point fifteen. So point twenty two, fifty two or fifty. We'll wait for it to settle. So we know exactly how much unknown we have. Now it's important to know also exactly how much cyclohexane we have. We measured twenty milliliters, but. We need a more accurate um, reading than that. So we're going to put the 20 milliliters in a large test tube. And we're going to take the mass. 15.20. Then we're going to add our unknown 
to the cyclohexane and make a solution. So we're going to add the unknown carefully and we're going to make sure that's completely dissolved. Our unknown is completely dissolved in the cyclohexane, so now we have our solution. All we have left to do is to find the freezing point of this solution. So we're going to pour 5 milliliters again into a small mixing test tube. And we're going to repeat the freezing of the solution exactly like we did when it was a pure substance, a pure cyclohexane. We're going to cool it to about 13 degrees and then take the temperature readings every five seconds. And off we go. Alright, so we graphed the data for the cooling curve of the solution and we found a freezing point of 4.7. So Now we have all of the information we need uh, to do the calculations for this lab. So we can begin by calculating the change in temperature. So this will be our first calculation. Uh, freezing point depression. Uh, originally was at 6.3 and uh, then 4.7. So we have a freezing point depression of 1.6 degrees Celsius. So using the equation for the freezing point depression, we know that this is um, equal to the freezing point uh, constant, the molal, um, times the molal concentration. And uh, so the temperature change was 1.6 degrees Celsius. And the Kf is uh, given to us is 20.1 degrees Celsius kilograms over mole. times the molal and so just we find that the molal um, concentration is 1.6 Celsius divided by 20.1 uh, which gives us 0 0.0796 molal and so this is going to be um, moles per kilogram of the solvent. So we can find the number of moles of the unknown that we have because we do know the kilograms of solvent. We measured that very carefully and it was 15.2 grams. So Molal is equal to moles of unknown divided by the kilograms of solvent. So the moles is 0 0.0796, uh, molal, sorry, equals x, which is the number of moles, as that's what we're looking for, and the kilograms of uh, solvent is 15.2 grams, so 0 0.0152 kilograms. So then that gives us x which is equal to 0 0.0012 moles. So this is the moles of the unknown. And finally, we can calculate the molar mass of the unknown. 
because the molar mass is equal to number of grams per mole. And we know the mass of the unknown because we carefully measured that to be 0 0.2243 grams using the analytical scale. And now we've just calculated the number of moles of the unknown, which is 0012 moles. So grams per mole, simple division, uh, 200.5 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of our unknown. Now using that information, we can identify the unknown from the list that was given to us. So having all of the information calculated, you identify the unknown from the list, and I wish you luck on this lab. Thanks for watching.